so I'm going to froth the milk now this is for a single cup so I took the milk just below the spot that you see there uh, that's the level of the milk that I took now let's see how to froth I'm going to introduce uh, more bubbles at the beginning and then immediately I'll stop by lifting up the pitcher a bit so that I stop introducing the milk and then I'll look for that swirl motion so that all the big bubbles get incorporated into micro bubbles and into the milk so you will see if you notice the tip of the steam wand you'll see that it's it will be eating the big bubbles into this and it will produce micro bubbles so let's see I'm going to switch on now and it takes few seconds to warm up uh, the milk wand or the steam wand and then let's see whether I'll achieve uh, the correct frothing of the milk and we'll see how to make a latte art so once the steam is clear and it sounds good now so I made it a bit off center and now I'm going to introduce some bubbles now that should be good so you see the big bubbles now if you look closely it will be eaten up so all those big bubbles are eaten up completely and then it's pushing all the micro bubbles into the milk and we have the swirl motion so that it rotates well and incorporates well so occasionally I can introduce that tear noise that's a noise that you hear but not too much so make sure it swirls nicely incorporates nicely and I'm using my other hand to monitor the temperature and it's almost ready so make sure you lift up the pitcher and switch off now the milk looks good almost like a wet paint so let me clean up the milk wand and show you how to do the latte art. So that's almost a swan art. 